Hi, I'm Jose Anunciato, and you're watching the Web Dev Channel. All right, so let's uh, take a look at the, using Bootstrap tabs to, for instance, uh, generate a tab at the top of the line so that you can group together features under uh, the same tab. All right, so it's, uh, it's pretty easy. Um, uh, you use just, just the same UL. Notice that it's using the same exact uh, layout, right? ULs and LIs. Right? Uh, that we use for, for the list, for the list items. But uh, because we're using nav and nav tabs, right, it renders them uh, uh, horizontally as, as opposed to render them uh, vertically. All right, so let's, uh, let's create these, uh, this less tabs. This one's a real quick one. Uh, so less than tabs, so that's uh, um, probably is going to be a container, right, that's going to contain multiple tabs for each one of the lessons. I didn't break it out like that, right? I just have it into one single container. Uh, so let's put it in here. So it will be a uh, file. This will be uh, lesson tabs. And I'm going to paste this. And in here, I'm going to have to import uh, React from React. Uh, and um, and it's, good. it's being exported. Uh, and now in my course manager, I can uh, load that. Say so import, imp uh, you can't type, import. Uh, lesson tabs uh, from um, lesson tabs. There we go. Uh, and we're going to add them, say, at the top. So this would be uh, lesson tabs. And this, uh, there we go. So we have act tab, another, another tab. So you can put any number of tabs in there. Uh, so take a look at the documentation for tabs in Bootstrap to style them. You can style them to be active, uh, disabled, uh, all sorts of things, even drop downs, embedded drop downs. Uh, all right. So, so uh, one more one more thing that we'd like to be able to do is, is for instance, um, uh, let's skip pills for a second. Uh, is uh, is to map them so that they render from left to right. Right where you on the left hand side you have a, a, a list of modules, but on the right hand side uh, you might have tabs and pills and the actual content, so that when you navigate on the left hand side, it changes the content on the right hand side, right? So you have a, like a split, like a one third, two third split, right? That would render maybe something like this, uh, where you have the the left hand side uh, list and then on the right hand side the content. Uh, so to do that, uh, we're going to use what was called uh, Bootstrap grids, right? Uh, in the old days, you would use tables. Right? Tables allow you to add content from left to right, but it's a bad practice. Instead, uh, we use uh, CSS to do that, right, and floats. Uh, so to do that, it's fairly simple. Um, uh, instead of using the table rows and the table columns, right, we do we accomplish the same exact uh, behavior, the same exact layout, but using divs. Right? Divs allows you to break uh, content, <coughs> to divide your content into multiple <coughs> Excuse me, uh, logical uh, uh, c uh, components, uh, and uh, so we're going to declare an outer row, right? That's going to contain multiple columns, uh, and uh, notice the class name row, right, is meant to contain multiple columns, and each column uh, uh, uses a class name that starts with column call, right, uh, plus a, a, a numeric value that tells it. Uh, how much do you want? This, how wide do you want this to be? Right, uh, and uh, and they follow a, a convention that uh, that all columns should add up to twelve. Okay, as many columns as you want, but they all have to add up to twelve. Right, that's a very common convention in uh, in printing. Right, in like in articles and newspapers and, and magazines that they split up a page into twelve equal parts. So they borrow that same idea. Right, in the printing uh, industry, they borrowed that uh, here in the, in the grid system. All right. uh, so let's do that. Let's uh, grab this uh, and uh, let's create a uh, course editor uh, that contains this. Uh, so the course editor, it might be a file here. So this will be a course editor. And this will be a component here that's uh, going to be a, a React component. Uh, that's going to um, uh, export this, right? This will going to be just a hyperlink, uh, an href. Uh, uh, here's the active. Uh, well, I think it didn't copy. <laughs> copy. Uh, what? 
this should be uh, this should be a course editor uh, and copy that and it's going to return this paste there we go and all right so and let's uh, let's um let's go to the course manager and load that course editor so we'll say import course editor from uh, course editor and we'll display it right at the top so this will be a uh, course editor uh, and um, this will render there it is right a third on the left hand side and right and, and a two thirds on the right hand side uh, but notice that these components below we can just reuse them right we can just include them right as, as, as actual tag elements right at the, at the one third we can reuse this component on the one third in the tab on the, on the on the right two thirds, right? So we can do that. So instead, if we go into the core, into the core editor, instead of putting this hard coded content, instead we can load uh, and import uh, the module list from a module list, uh, and we can import the um, what was it? Um, uh, lesson tabs uh, from where was it? Uh, uh, lesson tab, there it is. Uh, then just include them here, right? So we can put here the module list and we can put in the, here the lesson tabs uh, and refresh it and notice that we have a one third, two third split, but we have the module list on the left hand side and tabs on the right hand side, right? The only thing that we might be missing perhaps the pills down below for each one of the topics, but I believe that's a, uh, uh, that's an extra bonus uh, uh, implementation. Yes. Yes, of course. We would remove it from the bottom, right? We just have been progressively in introducing them and then reusing them to build something more complex. All right. Um, all right. Awesome. Uh, any any questions? Any other questions? All right. That's all I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like the video, and share it. Thanks.